two home victories in a week have changed the mood at Swindon. After Mattia Lanzano's fine save stopped Blair Sturrock from giving Southend the lead, Paolo Di Canio's players seized the initiative themselves as two United defenders contrived to kick each other and Jonathan Smith made a much better connection with the ball. Southend could have been level by the break, Ryan Leonard heading against the woodwork, a missed opportunity his teammate Bilal Mosny could barely believe. It was the closest they came, Swindon dominated the second half, Medic Karouche tucking away his first league goal in England to wrap up a well-deserved win. As for Swindon, I don't think um, Paolo Di Canio will be um, pulling his players off in much of a hurry, especially if they start scoring goals like this one from Jonathan Smith. Yeah, it's a good finish. I went there last week, actually, to watch them play, and it was a thoroughly entertaining game. And, uh, you can say that again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that, that's a great finish, and uh, they weren't bad, actually. I've got to say, there was, uh, there was one or two good players that he signed, one or two played probably not, not quite as good as he would have imagined, but you know, they were entertaining to watch, and it was, he was certainly entertaining to watch as well. <laughs> Do you think he's got to rein it in a bit in terms of yeah, all, quite all those possibly, antics yeah, in the dugout? I, I think so. I mean, you know, it's obviously a little bit off-putting to one or two of the opposite managers, and I think he'll learn with a little bit of experience exactly what, what sort of line to tread. The jury is still out on whether Paolo Di Canio can make a success of management, but if his team dominate as they did against Southend, the county ground will start to believe. Jonathan Smith got the crowd on their feet, and in the second half, Mehdi Karouche tucked away his first league goal in England to confirm a well-deserved win. At the county ground, substitute Jonathan Smith scored the opening goal, his first for the club with a long-range effort.